Miko M8S Pro series passive cooling. I covered uh, sticking a little 30 millimeter pie fan onto one of these boxes in another video, and this is the uh, my various sizes of heatsink and methods for cooling with passive coolers. So this is a Pro Plus. This is a Pro L which has been fully modified. Inside the Pro Plus, you've got a little tiny heatsink, and it doesn't really work if you're pushing these boxes to the extreme, So, or if you're in a hot climate, of course. So, what you have to do is remove that. This is one I did earlier, because it came off really easily. I've done a video of how to remove them. The Pro L comes with a slightly bigger heatsink but it's still not effective uh, and they quite often seem to put too much of the a sort of rubbery glue uh, in there and you can replace one of those with a better glue like the uh, HY910 or uh, Arctic Silver Epoxy um, but you really need a bigger heatsink. I quite like this one actually which is 22 by 15 and that fits in like that and this one is really good because it just lifts the lid ever so slightly and it works very nicely but when it's horizontal like that it still has a problem getting the heat out so what you have to do is you have to turn it up like that on its edge preferably on an edge like that so that the air can go in the bottom and out the top um, but with the lid lifted slightly it doesn't matter so much you can put it any way you like sticky velcro sticky back velcro see i've started on working on this one um the other thing you can do is if you don't mind cutting holes in the tops of things then you can fit bigger heat sinks and they work even better if you don't want to cut a hole in the top or anywhere else then that is the best one i think because if as long as it's on edge it works at least as well as the big one because it gets the air in through it whereas with the bigger one the lid comes down pretty firmly again and you're not getting much although it is better again on edge uh, most of these heating solutions work best if they if the box is actually stacked vertically uh, if you're gonna if you don't mind cutting holes in the top of things or the bottom of things then this is a really good size one as well this is 28 28 by 20 tall what you do is you put that in there in position and then you get a bit of double-sided 3m tape it's one millimeter thick 15 millimeters wide and you put that in there and you get it lined up and you put it down on top of it and you press it down and it lifts it up and you see it's nowhere near the middle so which is why you really got to get it right in position which about right anyway you do that get it on position there stick it to the top draw around it draw a little square around it when it's stuck on the top there like that and then you can cut a hole in the lid what you do is you drill four holes and then you chop it out using your stanley or craft knife Stanley knives are better because they're a bit tougher. They don't break as many blades and you know, nasty things. Um, cut a hole in it. Then what you do is you put the lid back on top in position. And then you actually have to glue this into position using your thermal glue or your Arctic Silver Epoxy. I'm using this one, the HY910, because... It is possible, although it's a it's a, a glue and it's very good and it sticks very firmly, it is just about possible to get it off again if you ever want to. Um, what you do is, this is for another project, which I'll show you in a minute, you get a, a bit of, alum, of either aluminium or copper. Copper is better because it doesn't bend. And you actually push this down into the fins like that and you twist and that will break off the uh, the glue the HY910 glue and then you can change it for a different heatsink if you want to 
uh, but you shouldn't have to if you've chosen made your decision so this one is really good because it, it works horizontally or vertically but it actually works just as well horizontally so that's really nice uh, and that manages to cool things down an awful lot compared to the standard one and it cools it down just as much as this 40 millimeter 40 millimeter by 11 that is the uh, the largest area heat sink you can fit into these boxes and on the pro l you actually have to fit it like that at an angle um, if you don't put a hole in the lid then you have to turn them vertical because they just don't get the heat out this, these plastic lids are very good at insulating so i've started putting these new holes in the lids there it's a 30 38 millimeter hole saw pro l um pro plus rather you drill it straight in the middle pro l you have to move it a couple of millimeters this way and maybe one or two millimeters that way you can sort of work it out by doing the uh, the same method as with the with that one you you put it on orientate it and then you pop the lid on with a bit of the uh, the old red 3m foam tape stick it to it and you can see exactly where you want to uh, want to draw your hole then so like i say 38 millimeter hole saw it's brilliant next thing is i've started putting holes in the bottom uh, and either copper or aluminium plate in the bottom um, what you do to cut it out you cut out the square bit in the middle there's a square bit like that and you cut that out by going along the edges of it just where it joins on to the uh, to the square bit and then there's a couple of little ones top and bottom that go all the way across and I cut them out as well and then a bit of copper or aluminium that is 65 millimeters front to back and 45 millimeters side to side fits exactly in between the uh, the mounting holes for the for the uh, PCB uh, if we pull this one apart you can see where it goes how it fits this embellisher ring sometimes I th think that's not worthy of being included and you can take it out and get a bit of air gap going anyway there you go there's a there's a hole ready cut and you see these little posts they mount the uh, the PCB and you just plonk it in there it goes between them like that then you put some two millimeter thick thermal pad now this is the um, this is relatively cheap stuff um, on eBay it's about four quid for a 10 by 10 sheet it's got a thermal property thingy of four watts per k and meter thing whatever it is and there's much more expensive stuff gelid extreme uh, which is 12 and um, which is probably better but it's about four times the price by area if not more in, including postage uh, anyway you stick your pads onto there like that and then you plonk your PCB back in and it all sticks together like that and it will hold it in position it won't at the moment because I haven't put it in there anyway that's one that I'm working on this is another one that hasn't got the bottom that's only got the top and I've another thing of note I've started putting just a little sheet of plastic you can cut it out of a polythene bag you know plastic bag just a, one of the clear ones cut it out cut a hole for the SOC the CPU um, and it goes around that and it just protects because the edges of these get chipped I don't know if you can see it in there just along the edge you can see the uh, the uh, anodizing has come off and it can cause a short now it shouldn't be a problem most of the time but occasionally I'm guessing it will be so you don't want that so I've just started putting just a thin sheet of plastic and it just stops anything from hitting anything and as you can see that's really nice and that is just absolutely gorgeous if you don't want to do the bottom that'll work pretty well doing the bottom adds another 
I don't know, seven degrees, sometimes up to 10 degrees, depending on if you put big feet on it, maybe lift it up a bit, keep it off the deck, and let more air into the bottom. Um, copper sheet is slightly better than aluminium sheet, but it's not much different. And the aluminium is a lot easier to get hold of and quite a bit cheaper probably as well. Um, so my favourites, my favourites are the 40 mil, 40 millimeter by 11 high and the 28 millimeter by 20 high. Holes in the top, and if you're really going for it, holes in the bottom as well. Copper, great stuff. Anything I've forgotten? Oh, these are weights. I just use those to uh, hold them down while you're gluing things. You can just, you know. You can do that and it'll hold down your, your heat sink of whatever kind just while the um, HY910 or your Arctic Silver epoxy is uh, is setting and leave it to set for a good long while before you use it because especially with the uh, Arctic epoxy if you try heating it too early it somehow spoils the cure on that and uh, it doesn't work properly. I'm not sure about the HY910 I just leave it ages leave it a good day and it uh, cures off nicely. Anyway, that's my current state of the art, in my opinion, passive cooling for the uh, MAS Pro series of uh, Mecor boxes. Thank you very much.